Over the course of 120 years, thousands of men and women have represented Colgate University through intercollegiate athletics at the highest level. Then there are those exceptional athletes, coaches, and contributors whose accomplishments have risen to a level of unsurpassed excellence. Their names and their achievements will last forever in the Colgate Hall of Honor. It was the pinnacle of my whole athletic and academic career, and it was an unbelievable honor. There's a lot of individuals that have had a great deal of success, not only here at Colgate, but post-Colgate, and to be honored uh, in a category with them is, it's, it's, it's a great feeling. I feel it, uh, it fulfills not, not only my feelings, but those of my teammates as well. When you start playing any sport, you never think that it's going to culminate in this, and you know, for this to happen and for it to turn out like this is just amazing. You look at it and, you, and it's surreal. You say, geez, to become part of that history, that level of history, you're already a student here and an athlete and a graduate, but then to become part of the Hall is just an honor in and of itself. To be a part of it is uh, a memory for the rest of my life. It's great. Thank you. So, you know, just to stand in the presence of these people's names is, you know, an honor. Colgate has such a rich history, and you really want to live up to that, and you don't want to disappoint the people who come before you. Located in Huntington Gymnasium, the Hall of Honor is a hallowed shrine, evoking memories of all the great Raiders. Inspired by Pete Van Aken and the class of 1927, the hall was dedicated in June 1979. In 1977, when the class of 27 reunioned for their 50th year, they gave their class gift to athletics to start a Hall of Honor. With Colgate being one of the real old schools uh, built in 1819 and having a, an intercollegiate athletic program that is probably one of the longest, oldest in the country. It's fitting that the athletes and the programs should be honored in some way. The hall was completely renovated in 2011. Inductees plaques are now displayed on a blue stone wall. When you come in, it's awe-inspiring because you're surrounded with, you look at all these names and what they've accomplished with their lives and what they've done at Colgate. It's an amazing group to be a part of. Colgate's very proud of the athletic tradition that we have and creating this hall of honor to, to honor those that have excelled on the playing fields or on the courts uh, just kind of speaks to the importance that athletics plays here at Colgate. Hall of Honor inductees are chosen by a selection committee. The standards are high. The process is thorough. You have to be an exceptional athlete. You've had to earn numerous honors. You've got to be a good teammate. You've got to be a good citizen. It comes down to a real healthy discussion among the, the selection committee. An achievement nationally, I think, is very important here because Colgate is such a small, unique school. People are surprised how well that our student athletes have done on the national scale of things. And so when I look at this room, it's a constant reminder of what Colgate and Colgate Athletics is all about, and that's winning with class. More than 200 men and women are now forever remembered for their great efforts on the field, on the court, on the ice, for their outstanding contributions, for what they brought to Colgate University. Honor. A very meaningful, and a very important part of my whole experience at Colgate. It's really neat to know that I'll kind of always be a part of the school now and to be honored like this for my time here is, it's been really great. There's a lot of memories on that wall. To have a permanent room like this to keep those memories alive, and those traditions alive, and those names that people mention quite often is very important to our program. It really is a, a tremendous honor. I'm humbled by it. The Colgate University Athletic Hall of Honor.